Hello guys, Fru here. Welcome to today's relevant read. So guys, in today's read, we're going to be looking at this question on Quora. What are the best answers for why should I hire you? What are the best answers for why should I hire you? Let's dive in. Alright guys, welcome back. Why should I hire you? The interviewer looks at you in the face during an interview and asks you this question, but what should be your response? Guys, you know on this channel we talk about technology tips, career advice and some inspiration. And this is definitely squarely one of those questions that is relevant from a career perspective or just in general in life. Why should I hire you? It goes into being able to sell yourself. So as always guys, the link to this particular Quora uh, question will be in the description. The very first link will be in the description. So I would highly encourage everyone to click on that link and get into Quora so you can see some of the other answers and to engage uh, with it. There are over a hundred plus answers, guys. I'm going to review just one because it was re it really stood out and was very interesting to me. But guys, you know there are other answers, the other perspective. I really encourage you guys to get in so you can see the other ex uh, perspectives that are available. All right. The one we're looking at today is from Baron Mohanty. Baron, uh, Baron's an individual who, uh, whom we've reviewed a lot of his answers from Quora. He writes really, uh, really great content. So, the very first one that it goes in, into, and this is kind of a conversational style of answer. So, uh, just bear with me to read it. I might just explain it at a high level at some point. So, I'm not reading uh, word by word. But the, the gist of what uh, Baron was uh, putting across was very, very interesting to me. All right. So, again, the interviewer is looking at you and asking you during the job interview process, why should I hire you? Tell me, why should I hire you and bring you to the company? The answer uh, or the play to this answer might be different depending on the industry. So, if you go into tech, it might be a little bit different than if you go into sales or if you go into a manager position versus like an individual contributor. But overall, I think the, the gist of it can be very inspiring uh, to think about it so you can kind of change things as you're going through the job interview process, all right? Because if you do what everybody else is doing, guess what? You're going to get a result of what everybody else is getting. So if you want different results, we're going to start thinking about doing things differently, all right? There's a book, Popo Cow, by Seth Gordon. I would highly recommend that book if you want to understand how to sell and to be different. That book, it's a, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But that's it. Let's dive into the answer at hand today. So, and I'm going to read it between Neil and uh, between the interviewer and Neil. I'll give my commentary as I read them. Interviewer, why should I hire you? Neil, don't, don't you? Interviewer, no. Neil, why not? Interviewer, out of 30 candidates, 29 are more experienced than you. Neil, ma'am, what about the remaining one? Interviewer, come on, that's you. Neil, then why did you call me for the interview? Now, why are you asking me this question if you don't want to hire me? Interviewer, okay, you can go now. We don't want to waste time with you anymore. Neil, okay, I will leave, but before I can have... Okay, I will leave, but before I can, can I have a minute? Interviewer, yes. Neil, have you ever heard of All Mosquitoes Repellent? That's the brand in quotes. All Mosquito Repellent? Or All Out Mosquito Repellent? Interviewer. Yes. Neil, ma'am, I had been using All Out for five years. Still, I was having mosquito bites every night. It was kind of hell for me. Suddenly, I replaced the liquid with another brand which was less expensive and the mosquitoes went away. Interviewer, I don't get it. Neil, the other 29 experienced salesmen will make sales process too much, too much predictable which, with their conventional sales method. Your client might buy or not, but I can be trained to develop a new sales methodology or a new sales method. Interviewer, that's okay, but we are not in the position to take a risk our company is already in a loss. Neil, that's what I'm talking about. Your current salespersons are not able to sell these days with their conventional method. How many salespeople do you have? Interviewer, 300. Neil, your company is already in a loss. 
if I won't perform, that will affect your sales by uh, 0.33%. Will, will it matter? But if I will be able to sell with a new method, that will be a revolution. You have five vacancies. You can hire me and four of the other experienced persons. Interviewer. Okay, I will hire you. But what if you won't perform? Neil, I just sold you my word. That's how I will sell your product too. All right. Guys, I uh, I probably didn't read it as flowing as I should, but uh, I hope you got the gist, right? Neil's coming here. The interviewer doesn't want to give him the job because it feels like he's inexperienced, right? But if you look at it, the interviewer has hired many, many other people and the company is still in the loss. And so Neil is simply telling her or him, why don't you just give me a chance? All right, you've already hired, you know, 30 people or so, 300 people, and they haven't given you, the, you're still in the loss. Why not try something different? right and give me a chance what's the risk for that right the risk is just one out of the 300 people that you've hired uh bombs but assuming that that person actually succeeds then now you have a new sales method i just thought it was interesting it's a little bit of a different approach i don't know if you're gonna follow this you know to the t or step by step but this is an inspiration right that we're living in a new age we're living in a new era there are new ways of selling things the traditional approach of resume and going to college and getting a resume and then going out and doing hundreds of interviews might not be what works for you right might not be what works for you you might have to do things different instead of going having a resume you might want to have a portfolio instead of having a resume you might want to have a youtube channel to talk about yourself instead of sending a piece of paper printed out you might want to send a, a video description of yourself right maybe a day in my life or who am i make a video about it uh, and attach that to your resume so things are really really beginning to change things are beginning to change and the people who succeed in the future are the ones that are able to respond to that right as in this case this interviewer and neil uh, neil wasn't stuck in a way of just trying to say well i'll fit in whatever you ask me to but neil is coming in to contribute bringing new ideas trying things different is there a risk to it of course there is a risk to it right some people might not see it some people might think it's different and we don't want that but guys if that's the case then you probably don't want to even work for that company in the first place right uh you want to take those skills to a place that really appreciates it sees it and and wants you on board because if i was the one and i saw neil being able to sell himself like that to me i would bring him on board right because i'm sh i could show bad money that he would sell whatever product the company is asking him to sell so in your case in our case, the product is you. The product is you. The product is your portfolio. The product, the product is your resume. How well can you go out and sell it so you can have a job and have an amazing career? All right, guys, this has been Fruit. Thanks for joining us today in this relevant read. Really, really appreciate you being with us today. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you haven't. As always, like I mentioned, the link to this relevant read will be in the description. Uh, I'm also going to leave a link to the book Popo Cow. Popo Cow by Seth Gordon, which uh, I might do a review of the book, but it kind of gives you that, that idea about being marketing, being different and being able to sell yourself uh, in a new way uh, in the new economy. All right. Thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next relevant read.